Hi everyone, today I will be talking about the difference between carbohydrates and proteins. Carbs and proteins are both vital for good health. Each of these nutrients plays a unique role in building and maintaining a healthy body. So any diet that deprives you of one or the other over an extended period of time can put your health at risk. So let's start with carbohydrates. Body uses carbohydrates, also known as carbs, to make glucose. Glucose is the fuel that gives you energy and helps keep everything going. Your body can use glucose immediately or store it in your liver and muscles for when it is needed. Your brain, heart, and kidneys depend on carbs for energy to function properly. If your diet does not include enough carbs, your body will take extreme measure to get the energy it needs. It will feed on carbs stored in muscles and attempt to chemically break down the proteins you eat until those proteins look and act like carbs. Carbs can be found in the following, fruits, vegetables, breads and milk products, foods containing added sugars such as cakes, cookies, and sugar-sweetened beverages. What about sodas and candies? Sodas and candies are the ones that add extra calories but not many nutrients to your diet. There are two types of carbohydrates. There are complex and simple carbohydrates. The complex carbohydrates provide vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Foods such as bread, legumes, rice, pasta, and starchy vegetables contain complex carbohydrates. Simple carbohydrates are found in foods such as fruit, milk, and vegetables. Cake, candy, and other refined sugar products are simple sugars, which also provide energy but lack vitamins, minerals, and fiber. And then there are two types of complex carbohydrates. There's starch and dietary fiber. Starch is in certain vegetables such as potatoes, dry beans, peas, and corn. Also in breads, cereal, and grains. Dietary fiber is in vegetables, fruits, and whole grain foods. Whole grain foods include brown rice, popcorn, quinoa, and whole wheat. Now let's move on to simple carbs. It includes sugars found naturally in foods such as fruits, vegetables, and milk products. So how can you avoid added sugars? Look for these ingredients. The closer the ingredient is to the top of the list, the more of that sugar is in the food. More about carbs, you could eat bananas, berries, brown rice, energy bars, low-fat yogurt, oatmeal, sports drinks, tomato sauce, and whole wheat pasta. Now moving on to proteins. Proteins are amino acids and are part of every cell, tissue, and organ in our bodies. In other words, Protein is the raw material your body uses to make and maintain healthy muscles, bones, skin, and hair. Source of protein can be found in meats, poultry, and fish, dry beans and peas, tofu, eggs, nuts and seeds, milk and milk products, grains, some vegetables, and some fruits. Just like carbohydrates, protein also has two types, complete and incomplete proteins. Complete protein provides all of the essential amino acids. The human body needs a number of amino acids to break down food, grow, repair body tissue, and perform many other body functions. Essential amino acids cannot be made by the body. As a result, they must come from food. Animal-based foods include meat, poultry, fish, milk, eggs, and cheese. Protein can help you shed those unwanted pounds and keep your belly full. But it's important to eat the right amount and the right kind of protein to get the health benefits. Seafood is an excellent source of protein because it's usually low in fat. Fish, such as salmon, is a little higher in fat, but it is a heart-healthy kind. Stick to the white meat of poultry for excellent lean protein. Dark meat is a little higher in fat. The skin is loaded with saturated fat. So remove skin before cooking. Milk, cheese, and yogurt are excellent sources of protein, but they also contain valuable calcium, and many are fortified with vitamin D. Choose skim or low-fat dairy to keep bones and teeth strong and prevent osteoporosis. Eggs are one of the least expensive forms of protein. The American Heart Association says normal healthy adults can safely enjoy an egg a day. Beans one half cup of beans contains as much protein as an ounce of broiled steak. Plus, these nutritious nuggets are loaded with fiber to keep you feeling full for hours. In complete protein, 
is low in one or more of the amino acids. It includes dry beans, white rice, corn, and tofu. More examples of protein in food. One cup of milk has 8 grams of protein. A 3 ounce piece of meat has about 21 grams of protein. One cup of dry beans has about 16 grams of protein. An 8 ounce container of yogurt has about 11 grams of protein. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope now you know the difference between carbs and protein.